Well, tonight marks the 68th straight night of protests in Portland. Hundreds around the city continue to speak out against racial injustice and what they say is police brutality. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola. Right now, a few hundred people gathered on Lombard Street in North Portland near the Police Association building. Let's get right to our Jacqueline Abad, who is live on the scene. What's the latest, Jacqueline? Jeff, we are live here at Denver and Lombard, but you can see there's about 200 to 300 people gathered in the middle of the street here on Lombard. Now, a lot, of, a big portion of that group is gathered outside of the Portland Police Association building, and that smoke you see just off to the left, that's a dumpster fire that some of the people inside the crowd that started this, this fire. Now, earlier today, we followed these protesters as they marched from Peninsula Park to the Portland Association building. Now, one thing that's been unique about this group is that there hasn't been any um, any organized leaders of this group. They actually voted earlier today. The crowd voted on where they would go for this march, and they voted on the Portland Police Association building. Now, earlier at Peninsula Park, things were very peaceful as people gathered and spoke. We heard people chanting Black Lives Matter, and we also followed a few other events in the community where they gathered for the Black Lives Matter movement. Check it out. From Sunnyside School in Southeast Portland to Peninsula Park in North Portland, people continued to gather in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. There was a kid-centered march for black lives. Teachers, parents, and children came out to show their support. Organizers hoping this movement has an impact on our younger generations. They are black children, a deeper understanding that they are loved, that they are seen, that they are cared about, and that the whole world is behind them. Something we've known for a long time, and, and this summer, um, it is more clear than ever how crucial it is that we're standing behind our black community members. Over at Peninsula Park, people were compelled to come out for another night of protests. I think it's important for us to be out here every day for as long as it takes for people to start paying attention. Danny waved his flag for those who couldn't come out. This is something that some friends who can't come out because they can't be out in because of COVID-19 asked me to fly for them. So I'm out here flying it for them today. Take his name, George Floyd. And as a crowd came together, they started to march. Now back here live, you can see that dumpster fire is still burning. Now the Portland Police Association building here on Lombard Street is boarded up for the most part. We haven't seen any interaction with police officers out here, here near um, Lombard and Denver. But again, they just arrived um, a couple of minutes ago. Again, they marched from Peninsula Park all the way here to Denver and Lombard near the Portland Police Association building. They just got out here. And when we got out here, we saw that they started a dumpster fire. We'll continue to monitor this situation for now. Jeff, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Jacqueline Abad keeping uh, tabs on the situation in North Portland. Jacqueline, thank you.